Okay, and this gives you an idea of what we're doing here. Um, like I said, I'm on a river bank and, uh, or not a river, just a stream. And I'm unfortunately having to mill uphill, which really stinks, uh, but it's okay because I don't want to um, uh, section these out and then roll them to the side and then mill downhill. And up there, up to the front, oh, it's just devastating. Somebody thought they were uh, doing people a favor and they just bucked up about 25 feet of uh, this red oak. So I don't think it's usable for milling, but um, I thought that went great. Here's the quality of the cut we're getting. My chain is moving far more than I want it to. This, I'm, I'm not happy with this wave. Um, that'll come out in surfacing, but it's extra work. I'm gonna try to figure that out. Um, but uh, here we go, I thought it went great. Okay, so. I don't know if I'm in frame or not, but uh, I've got a uh, Pulse Forma G660 here with the 36 inch bar um, and a, uh, an Archer ripping chain. Uh, this is the first time I've used the saw. I'm gonna go through uh, some probably about 23 inch red oak here. I've already got the top flattened. So uh, I got my wedges, got my oil can, make a nice pool there at the end of the bar and uh, we'll see how she goes. All right. Oh shit, I had it in the off.
through the cut and uh, just a couple things I wanted to point out I'm running 50 to 1 or slightly better oil to gas mixture because I mean technically this is still the break-in period um, I'm going slow trying to oil the bar as I go and uh, you know I don't know how long that took but you know these are inch and a half thick slabs of red oak so I'd say uh, not too shabby okay do use the decomp valve. All right. Just got it refilled.
Comp valve. Okay, so this is my um, fifth, maybe sixth slab that I'm taking out of this red oak here. And the whole way I have used that Pulseforma G660. And I got, man, I gotta say, uh, after using it for maybe four or five hours, maybe not quite that long, maybe two or three of actual cutting, it is fantastic. I mean, it is just wonderful. Um, using an archer chain, I sharpened it up by hand uh, after I went through about four slabs. This is, oh, I'd say probably here, maybe 
24 inch red oak, maybe 25. I'll throw a tape measure on it at some point here. Um, but it's just, it's cutting just incredibly nicely. Um, it's, uh, you know, it, it's build doesn't really give you a high degree of confidence, but it works. So I'll show you, show you uh, this next slab here. Okay, so just threw my back out, hoisting this up into the truck. But here you go. Even, nice even slabs, inch and a half. And that's, inch and a half is about as heavy as I want them moved by myself. But it's just beautiful. These are probably uh, just under eight foot. Beautiful.